DLC Fighters Pass has five characters left, and since I make Smash videos, I might as well give my predictions for them. One part of how I came up with the predictions goes based off how the last pass went, with having one major fan service character, an actual Nintendo character, and some characters a lot of people don't really know. I tried to think of characters that could seriously get in and would make sense. Have some room to pull moves from, aren't assist trophies, so no Waluigi, sorry guys. However, spirits are all game since Sakurai demolished Spirit Theory. First up is none other than Paper Mario. Jesus Christ, why is it in Smash already? Paper Mario is the biggest Nintendo series to not be represented in Smash. Well, besides music and a stage, which just further pushes the chance. Plus, Origami King just came out. Like I said in the moveset video, they have like seven fucking games to pull from. So making a moveset isn't that hard. And considering they haven't covered this series, but Cover Arms, which has one game versus seven plus the one on the Switch, I think he has a pretty good chance. I mean, Smash is the Nintendo All-Star Fighter, right? Paper Mario's Nintendo, and has been wanted by fans, so... Second is a very popular request. The biggest and most requested, you could say. It's Geno from Mario RPG. DLC Pass 1 had one major fan service character, which is Banjo. So if we continue the trend, the next biggest fan service would be Geno. You go to any Smash stream, and a lot of viewers, including the streamer, will probably say Geno has a chance. Look at any of the Smash ballots, official and unofficial. Geno is up there. Literally just Google Smash Ballot and look for yourself. It's a common thing in the Smash community. People want Geno just like they wanted Banjo, and guess what? We got him. I'm not fully sure what his moves would be, but I know he can shoot some pellets and has a move that has a chance to insta-kill. Seems pretty fitting for Smash. One of his specials could be an attempt at the insta-kill, and it's guaranteed at over like 130% or something like that. Third has to go to Minecraft Steve. Yeah, it sounds like a big fan service, but come on. One of the biggest gaming titans isn't going to get represented in Smash. Everyone and their grandma knows what a Minecraft is. It's on every goddamn system. It's still getting updated. There's story-based Minecraft games getting shoveled out. There's lots of combat and variation to pull moveset from. Bows, swords, axes, potions to give a random factor to, fire, TNT, using and throwing tridents along with the lightning that you can spawn from it, the elytra, or ender pearls for movement, and probably some more. It's just hard to believe that one of the biggest, most popular games ever, if not the biggest, isn't going to get some love in Smash. That would easily skyrocket Smash sales and DLC sales. People who have never heard or had any interest in Smash would suddenly want to try it because Steve's in it. Microsoft is clearly already open to Smash because of Banjo's inclusion. It just seems like a no-brainer. <laughs> Some quick characters to mention that I think would be cool in Smash, but I just don't feel like they'll make it in for one reason or another. Crash Bandicoot. I feel like they'd have a lot of trouble making a good moveset for him. Arl from Puyo Puyo. While I do think they can make a decent moveset with all the magic attacks, and Carbuncle may be acting like Luma, they need to pop Puyo to do them, so that creates a big problem as you're not going to play Puyo while avoiding attack. Rayman and Shovel Knight. They're already in a Smash like game, so why put them in two? Tails. I like him, but if anything, he'd be a Sonic Echo since he flies and has bombs and could use his tails.
Now, this is going to be kind of anticlimactic, but just hear me out. I don't have any predictions for the other two fighters. If you go based on how the first fighter's pass was, they were really unpredictable with who they chose. Terry from King of Fighters? Most players didn't even know about this series until Smash. Joker? Really disappointing. Only a tiny group of people wanted him and his chances of getting in seemed pretty low, but literally the only reason he got in is because Sakurai liked Persona. There's no Persona games on Nintendo consoles. So considering most characters had to have some sort of tie to Nintendo, or the companies liked each other, or it had to be a Nintendo game and from a video game, it would seem stupid to suggest that this anime style character would get in. On top of people not really knowing who this guy really is at all, I had to look up who this motherfucker was. My friends had to. A lot of people did. This is why I don't have any predictions. It's unpredictable. Nintendo and Sakurai are just going to pull some random ass character we wouldn't even think of, or know, or easily roll out of our predictions. You might think they're not going to pull another Three Houses character, because we already got Byleth and most people were unhappy. Then they'd be like, here's another Byleth. Here's some random ass anime character who has no ties to Nintendo. Here's some random ass guy from an unpopular franchise. Here's a character you'd never thought would work in Smash at all, for a character that's literally one of many enemies you can encounter in whatever game, like Piranha Plant. So I guess it gives Bandana D a chance since we have PP Plant. These are just my predictions. There are tons of prediction videos out there if you don't like mine. We don't fully know what we're gonna get. We're probably gonna get fucking pissed out of our minds, but be overjoyed for the next guy. Or not. But hey, that's just a theory.